I'm TV6 meteorologist Eric DeBroca and here's your latest weather on demand forecast. Well, the rain tonight continues to fall, at least in some spots. Notice we did have uh, scattered, isolated showers and storms throughout the day on Saturday. Good uh, half the day, though, was pretty dry, but then once the convection got going in the afternoon, well, the storms got their acts together. And even now, we're starting to form a line, but unlike last weekend, this one is non-severe, but we are going to see the threat continue, especially early Saturday night into Sunday morning of more non-severe showers and thunderstorms. But take a look at some of these stats. We've seen eight straight days of rain. Maybe you can't believe that. And actually nine out of 10 as well, going back to the 10th of June. That was the last time we did not, or rather June 9th, the last time we didn't see rain. But since June 10th, we've picked up over two and almost a quarter inches of rain, at least at the Weather Service. Now, some areas, especially in the Southwest UP, they've picked up close to three and even four inches of rain. So they've seen even more than that. And that is actually more than the entire month worth of rain there, almost three inches for the month is average. And we're not done yet. There is more rain to come in the forecast and uh, actually quite a, a lot of it, especially on Sunday, unfortunately happens to fall right on Father's Day. So if you have any plans, you might want to have an alternative plan or at least just plan on being inside and uh, enjoying dad's company in there. As far as rain right now, we're seeing a lot of showers and uh, locally embedded thunderstorms as well, particularly to our south. Chicago has a severe thunderstorm watch going through this evening. Elsewhere to our west in Minnesota and western Wisconsin, they have just a ton of rainfall that is coming in our direction. But with that said, we are seeing a decrease in temperatures. Notice the low 60s and even upper 50s off to the north and west. So much cooler air. We're going to shove the 70s and 80s off to the south. Currently 84 in Detroit, 76 from Green Bay, 90 in Cleveland today as well. But this front is going to do some damage to our temperatures. We're still stormy right in through the early evening hours. Then finally, tomorrow morning for Sunday services, 9 a.m., the low pressure system moves off to the east. Still, though, notice the yellow. This is very heavy rainfall, and we could pick up, well, I'll show you here in just a second, but some spots could top out more than an inch, an inch and a half of rainfall on Sunday. Showers are uh, still around by 3 in the afternoon, and that was the real heaviest stuff will fall uh, right around the afternoon there. But then notice in the day on Monday, we're still not out of the woods yet. More scattered showers and really in the extended forecast as well. Breaking down the rain though for the rest of the day on the rest of the night Sunday and uh, into Monday. Notice here's 8 a.m. on Sunday and pretty much one round of rain moves in overnight Saturday into Sunday. Another one moves in uh, closer to the noon hour and this is pretty impressive now. This might be overdone, at least in the Marquette area, but notice where the yellows fall. The central UP could see more than an inch of rainfall on Sunday, and with that, falling temperatures also in the afternoon. Highs only right around 60 across the areas of northwest. The warmest will be in the southeast uh, towards Manistique and Newberry, upper 60s that way. There's a chance of an early shower or thunderstorm there, but pretty much just a lot of steady rainfall and not so much thunderstorms this week. Notice your TV six-day forecast. We don't see a lot of thunderstorms, but we do see a ton of rainfall and unsettled weather right on through this period. Mondays and Tuesday expect highs only in the low 60s. And with that, more afternoon showers. Very light, though, those days. Finally, Wednesday, we break out of this pattern. Temperatures return closer to average both Wednesday and Thursday.